Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Chosen Ones have to move like a secret agent. Can't anybody know? Can't nobody know? See or hear anything about you. Let's get right into it. Chosen ones have to keep everything to themselves. Divulging the wrong information can be detrimental. You have people who are paying a very close eye to you and reporting your whereabouts, your moves, what you're doing, the places you go to known and unknown sources. And when people do that, it's to be able to control you somehow. It's to be able to know everything about you so they can use it against you. So what you have to do is you have to move in silence. What you have to do is you have to keep everything to yourself. You can't tell too much and you can't give too much detail. You have to keep a lot of things under wraps. Can't let people know what you're up to. Can't let people know what's going on with you. Can't tell people your next move, what your plans are, what you want to do with your life, or what you want to do, period. You can't say too much of anything about anything because the wrong person gets a hold of that information, then they could put out some, some dark magic, some dark energy over what it is you want to do. They can try to cancel it out, pray against it, ask God to not do it for you. Or they could just pull some unnecessary strings to where now things that were would eventually have worked out for you are now not working out for you. And then there are just some people who just have to know everything about what you're doing. And those are the ones who are going to use it against you some way, somehow. So what you have to do to work against the forces of darkness, because that's darkness. That's, that's real dark to try to figure things out about a person, to use them for negative reasons and negative purposes. That's not good to have to try to learn something about someone, figure something out about someone just to try to use it to bring them down somehow. And that's all it's going to be used for. It's all a manipulated plot, a planned out plot, a planned out scheme to try to get things to not go well for you some type of way. And they're aware of what they're doing. They know. But it's better for you to not just tell people things that don't need to know them. Your plans, the things you want to do, the things you've got going on, keep it to yourself and don't tell anybody because people will use them against you. So your goals, dreams, things that you are going to eventually do or try to achieve or get done. You don't have to tell those things to anyone. You can keep those things to yourself. And when people ask you what's going on or how's this or how's that, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to tell them anything. It's probably best that you don't tell them anything. People who are trying to be invasive in your life and you have a bad vibe about it. 
it's for a bad reason. You get a bad vibe about something, it's probably because it's for a bad reason. And it just lets you know. It's just a confirmation. That's all it is. It's a confirmation that you were right the whole time. You knew what was going on. You knew why people were doing certain things. You knew why people were behaving a certain way. <clears throat> and people were behaving a certain way to try to stop you, to try to destroy you, to try to make things not go well for you. And when people want to control your life in that way, and you finally try to break free or remove yourself from the situation, that's when, yo, that's when the flying monkeys come out to play. Flying monkeys will come out to play, just like in The Wizard of Oz. They were on their journey, and the flying monkeys came out to monitor them, to watch them, to stop them, track their progress, track their movements, see what they were up to. So flying monkeys will be the ones who will do the narcissist bidding for them. They will take note like a secret spy. And that's why I say you have to move like a secret agent because there are secret spies watching you, plotting on you, paying attention to your every move. Private eyes are watching you like Hall and Oates. Private eyes are watching you, just like the song Police. Every step you take, every move you make, they'll be watching you. They play that in some stores, so to prevent people from shoplifting. So when people are actually doing that to you, what do you, what do you think they're trying to prevent you from doing? They're trying to prevent you from living your life. They want you to not have a chance or a moment to yourself. They don't want you to feel like you're allowed to live a normal life. They don't. They don't want you to feel like you're allowed to live a normal life. They don't want you to feel like you deserve to be happy or to have a successful life. They feel that you're just supposed to be watched by them, controlled by them, and you're supposed to live the way they want you to live. Uh, a worthless, meaningless shell of a life but it's not the case because God has more in store for you and you know it and that's why you have to move like a secret agent because you don't want anybody to spoil what the Lord has planned for you even though what he has even though what God's given to you the world can't take it away but you just don't want people making things harder for you or difficult for you randomly or you don't want people to try to throw you off track and set you back. You'll still get it, but you just don't need anything extra in the way. You don't need anything extra in the way. So you have to move like a secret agent. Not everybody is who you think they are. It's just the unfortunate circumstance of the whole shebang. Not everyone is who you think they are. Some people are secret agents. Some people are spies. Some people are someone else. You think they're the person you always thought they were? You think they're the person you always knew them to be? And you know, they're tracking you and reporting back to the enemy. You know, tracking you and reporting back to the enemy. All right, they done crossed enemy lines. They crossed enemy lines for the purposes of feeding them intel about you, secret information top secret only you supposed to know what you're up to only you supposed to know what you're doing but there are those who just have to know there are those who have to uh, keep tabs on you so that way they could continue to try and make things hard for you try and make things difficult for you try and make it so you don't reach your goal Try and make it so you don't succeed. They're trying to stop from happening what they don't want to see happen. But it's, it's too late. What 
the world didn't give you, the world can't take it away. There's something special that you're going to do and that you're going to be. And no one's going to be able to take that from you. No one's going to be able to stop you from entering into heaven's gates. You're being obedient. You're listening to God. You're doing what he's telling you to do. And it's causing people to act out. It's causing people to behave in odd, strange ways. And that's why you'll have people spying on you. That's why you'll have people turning on you, turning their backs on you like a secret agent. And you need some stillness to be able to put it all together, to be able to contemplate it all, to be able to make sense of it, what you're supposed to understand anyway. But it's all going to work out for you. It's nothing that anyone can do to stop you. When people turn on you, when people switch up on you, because people, yo, know, people will turn on you and people will switch up on you. So that's why you have to be careful. Everybody that will smile, everybody that will ask you how you're doing, everyone that will seem sincere, like they care. Oh, they will seem sincere. And it will seem like they care. But you have to watch out and be careful. Because those are the same ones that will make you feel too, too comfortable. And that's what they are preying on you for. They're preying on you to be naive and to get too, too comfortable. So that way you will converse with them. You'll talk to them. It's okay to talk to people, but that's why I said you have to be like a secret agent. You had some certain specific information that was very important. You would keep it to yourself and you wouldn't tell anyone. You wouldn't, you wouldn't make that information known. You would keep it to yourself. When you talk to people, you may, they may make you feel good. They may make you feel comfortable. They may make you feel like you trust them. But when certain things seem a certain way, you can't really be too, too trusting. You can't be too, too comfortable. You're going to have to trust God and you're going to have to trust yourself. Jesus didn't trust anybody because he knew the hearts of men. And it's not, that's not a bad thing to say. You shouldn't necessarily trust anyone. You can be confident in people. You can have caring people in your circle. There are people that you can, um, there are people that you can associate yourself with, people that you can do business with. But as far as being too trusting, it's just not a healthy thing to do. All right. You have to be wise when it comes to certain people. And there are certain people who you will know right off the back. Okay, this is. A good situation. This is something that I can. This is this is this is this is right. You know, when things feel right, they're going to feel right. And when things don't feel right, it's usually a reason behind that. It's usually your your intuition, your radars up. Like Beanie, he said, my, got my radars up. Like Beanie said, he could feel it in the air. When you can, when you yourself can feel it in the air. All right. When you, when you can feel it in the air, when you can feel it in the air, you need to assess the situation and fall back, draw back and keep your business to yourself and not necessarily tell people what you have going on, what your plans are, what you're up to, what you're doing. Because you think it's just a conversation, but that's all information. They're saving you. Know, you think you're having a conversation, but they're saving it as information. And they're going to do with that information what they will with it. So chosen ones have to move like a secret agent. Because there are people who have turned into secret spies. And 
they are working for the enemy. So be careful and be wise. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. I'll see you in the next one. We out.